Oh yeah. Oh, I knew it. Oh. I knew it. Kevin, as soon as I heard that rapper. You really have to say, oh yeah, every time you eat a candy bar. I can't help it, Oscar. It's just really good. Oh yeah. My hands are tight. All right, not bad at all. I think we can beat 20 minutes though, so let's try again. Get it all out now if you have to. Okay. It was a raccoon eating a hamburger like a person. Yeah, you need to stop banging your pen on your desk or it's gonna drive me insane. Okay, got it. Does anyone have a first aid kit? Check out this song I wrote. I'm gonna love you down the stairs tonight. Listen, I sent you a I need you to me. looks like a little hamburger. All right, here we go. Everybody get ready in three, two, good luck, one. Oh, okay. oh. What is this, a, a meatball? Really? <laughs> it's always more fun to mess with Dwight with an audience. That was usually Pam. So now that she's out, I had to find someone else. Turns out that Stanley is quite the comedy fan. But not everything makes him laugh. He has very specific tastes. Through a painstaking process of trial and error, I found out what he likes. And it's really weird. Jim, come on, so juvenile. What the? You have been meatballed. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for some meatball? Oh, man. <laughs> this is not very clever, Jim. I know. <laughs> Look for your stapler. <laughs> really, Jim? Really? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> okay, good day. What's a hole? 32 meatballs. Good day. <laughs> that idiot's been feeding us for a week. We'll never have to buy meatballs again. <laughs> Val, I need the space. All right, guys, clear out. Everybody out. Promise me you're going to clean up. I can't promise what I'm going to do or not do. Promise me that you Obviously, gonna... I'm going to clean up. Stress is like the uptight mayor of a town who's saying, hey, we're uptight, you can't dance. And then you have to be like, oh, yeah, Mayor Stress? Well, watch this. And then we dance. Oh, how we dance. Sex also works. Oh, ho, ho. look who's back reporting for duty. Hey, guys. Hey. 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 Bam. Ah, look what I can do now that she's no longer pregnant. Bam, 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 bam. Are you glad to be back? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could have used another week or three. Hey, you still had eight weeks more than we did. <laughs> well, it's not exactly a vacation. Hello, everyone. Hey. Remember? Little old me. Hi. What are you doing here? You just had our baby. Our our collective Dunder Mifflin family baby, four days ago. I wanted to come back to work. Not everybody needs some long, luxurious Parisian maternity leave. Damn, what? girl, your body. Angela, you look amazing. Really? I feel like this big rhinoceros. Anyway, I wanted to thank you guys for covering for me, so I made some treats. I've got brownies and magic cookie bars. <laughs> Oh, Angela, those brownies have walnuts in them. And I think Kevin's allergic to walnuts. You're, you're allergic to walnuts, right, Kevin? Extremely, but I'm gonna fight through it. Aw, oh, it's okay, Angela. I have mommy brain, too. I don't know what that is, Pam. I made a batch with no nuts, special for you, Kevin, right Ooh. here. 
When did you find time to do all this? Babies sleep a lot, Pam, if you feed them enough. Brownie, Pam? Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's really good. I wouldn't know, I'm watching my weight. Oh. So you guys, you know what's an even more useful treat is cash. So nope. we wanted to say thank nope. you. Okay. Today is the first day of Sabre's new project to develop a chain of retail stores. I am meeting my new boss, Nellie Bertram, head of special projects. Work starts at nine. Sabre HQ is 30 minutes away driving the speed limit. Giving everyone 20 minutes to shower, plus 50 for Jim to style his hair, 20 for breakfast, 40 for Aaron to get lost between her room and the lobby, 90 for Ryan to do his morning ecstasy. We're already 20 minutes late. Wake up! <laughs> Hey, 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 hey! Wake up! Ow! Why are you sleeping that way? Oh, I was reading the mattress tag and I fell asleep. Stanley! Wake up! You've got to wake up! The hotel's on fire! Stanley, wake up! It's pretzel day! <sighs> Good morning. Hey, wake up. Let's have some fun. We're in Florida now. Hey, you. I'm so glad this is happening. I actually came to your door twice last night. Come on in, the water's fine. Oh, not cool! I am on the two kids sleep schedule. So I'm up and at him at 4.15. But no kids, so I honestly didn't know what to do with myself. And then I thought of something. Uh, Here's Dwayne! What the? Oh, man. What do you think happened? Oh, looks like Jim got mixed up with some bad apples. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't me. I gotta find Luanda at the alcohol club. Oh. Hey, Angela. You wanna see a picture of Philip wearing those little booties you got us? So cute. Hey, you guys wanna see a picture of Gerald wearing galoshes? He refused to go out in the rain until I bought these. Now going out in the rain is all he wants to do. Oscar thinks having a dog is just like having a baby. Newsflash, if you didn't carry it around in your belly for nine months, it isn't your kid. Exactly. <laughs> Unless you adopt it, of course. That is where we disagree. Hey, are your little dudes crawling yet? <laughs> no. Three-month-old humans don't do that. My Philip is crawling. Angela is such a oh, liar! It's maddening! Exactly, that's just like crate training. All night long, all night long. <laughs> <laughs> well, count yourself lucky. Wait until you have two. That's two sleep schedules, two naps that don't coincide. I mean, you'll never sleep again. No one said you must have two. Like her genes are so important. The world just needs more Pam Jim DNA. Thank you, no. No, thank you. <laughs> Check this out. My brother just got a new sailboat. He has no idea what he just got himself into. There's nothing harder than taking care of a boat. Am I right? Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Today is the test launch day for the inaugural Sabre Store. And I, Dwight Schrute, am in charge of the entire operation. And if I can prove myself today, and the store is a hit with the media, and Nellie sees this, the vice presidency is mine. Hey, are you holding this chair? Because I feel like I'm yes. going to fall off. Yes. I'm Just, not wearing the right yeah, shoes for okay. this. We went over this, OK? Your tiny fingers make the best knots. Hey, strangers. So stoked for the Sabre store opening. Hey, my name is Tabitha. I'm camped out in front of the Sabre store so I can be first in line for the new pyramid. Oops. It's me, Aaron. Dwight and me pretend to be a hipster to create hype, and it's working. There's already people camped out behind me. Okay. Bye. Everyone stop what you're doing. I have terrible news. Dwight is no longer with us. <gasps> what? what happened? He's, He's gone, damn it. He's been promoted to VP of Saber Retail and he's staying in Florida forever. Oh, so, he's alive? Yeah. 
That was him on the phone. He sounds wonderful. Well, the way you said it made it sound like he was dead. How could I have been more clear? He had a massive stroke of good fortune, and he is now in a better place. If Dwight's not coming back, does that mean we can open his treasure? Oh, uh, you guys, yes. we've gone over this. There is no treasure. When the team left for Tallahassee, Dwight told everyone not to touch his treasure. Don't touch my treasure. Okay, you understand? Obviously, he wants us to obsess about it. There's nothing in there. Which is obviously what he would want us to think, making it the perfect place to hide a treasure. <laughs> oh God, I'm Wallace Shawn and the Princess Bride. <laughs> I think that Dwight wanted us to realize that this conversation among friends is the true treasure. Oh, oh, no, no. I am dying to know what's in there. Yeah, I know, Oscar, we all are, but nobody's gonna open it. You'd have to be insane. Hi, hello. Now carefully open the box. It's a photo of all of us. Oh, that's so sweet. Ah! Ah! A dart? Are you kidding me? Who would put a poison dart? Well, I mean, I don't know that it's poison. I mean, I just have to imagine. God, I'm glad he's okay though. Kind of sounds like he deserved it, opening another man's treasure and all. Wow! This is Pam. Oh my God, are you sure? Uh, okay, okay, um, we'll be right there. Everybody, the balloon is falling. <laughs> There's this balloon that has been floating in the rafters of the warehouse for like <laughs> ever. And okay, it's not, it doesn't sound cool. You just have to see it. Well, I guess it doesn't look that cool either. But it's been up there a long time, so it's become a pretty big deal. Wow. It's the end of an era. You did a good job, buddy. Now it's time to come home. I remember when that balloon went up there, I was still with Gil. We were so happy. When that went up there, I had hair like Rapunzel. How long do you think it's been up there, Kevin? I just remember pushing aside my silky bangs to say, look, a balloon. My Warcraft clan was still on speaking terms. My kid didn't have a face tattoo. I was still thinking of going back to school. And I was still just a paper salesman. Well, this has been fun, Pam. Thanks for calling us all down here. Jim, Stanley's back from the hospital today. Can you sign his card? Oh, great. Glad they didn't mix up your tonsillectomy with a mustacheectomy. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, because your jokes are all hilarious. It's nice. It's funny. It mentions his tonsillectomy and makes a funny little joke about his mustache. Stanley doesn't have a mustache. Yeah, he does. Pam, hit the brakes. Stanley does not have a mustache. I misspoke. I'm not sure. I think he has one. Now that I think he has a mustache. Okay, Phyllis sits across from him every day. Phyllis, does he have a mustache or not? Oh, I don't know. Um, now I think he doesn't. Phyllis, what are you talking? The whole car depends on this. Okay, the man's worked here for 25 years. How can none of us picture his face? Because we come here to do our jobs. We don't stick our noses in other people's business. Okay, which one of these looks more right? Neither of those looks like any person that has ever existed or been dreamt of in the history of human insanity. That said, the one on the left. Guys, that's the elevator. What if it's him? Okay, quick. Who says mustache? Yep. Who says no mustache? Ah! Hey! Yeah. He does uh, have yes. one. <laughs> Welcome back, Stanley. Uh. Wow, it is raining cats and dogs out there. Holy moly. Phyllis says the same 12 cliches every time it rains. So, I promised everyone that if she says them all by noon today, I will send out for hot chocolates. So how's the drive in? Uh, nobody knows how to drive in the rain. You don't say? Yeah, you know the roads are actually the slickest in the first half hour. I think it's the oil that comes to the surface. I agree. 
Ooh, the plants are gonna love this. Yeah. I actually sleep better when it's raining. Tell me about it. Time's almost up. How many are left? Just one. This weather makes me want to stay at home curled up with a good book. Phyllis, this rain, does it make you want to be doing something? What do you mean? You know, like, aren't some things just so nice and cozy in the rain? Hey, come on. Lots of things are cozy in the rain. And that's noon. Exactly. Sorry about that, everybody. Hey, Phyllis, would you like a hot chocolate? Oh, I love one. I'm going out to get two hot chocolates. I mean, normally the rain would make me want to stay at home curled up with a good book, but everybody's being so nice to me today. I'm really happy being here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Okay, fine. Ryan. Something the matter? Smokey's dead. Smokey the bear? Smokey Robinson, Pam. He died like an hour ago. I guess I'm the first to know. Wow, that's terrible. I really liked him. Oh, you liked him? That's nice. Did you like when he changed the course of American music like two or three times? Did you like that Tracks of My Tears is maybe the last true love song ever written? I'm glad you like him, Jim. I am completely devastated right now. Well, I second that emotion. Huh? I know a few of his songs, but what were his big ones? Oh, God, Nelly, what wasn't his? I mean, um, Tracks of My Tears? Yeah. Um, God, so many, Nelly. No, no, no. Tracks of My Tears and what else? What are some more? What's one more? Okay, I'm not, I'm not playing this game, Pam. Not today. I don't think you love Smokey Robinson. I think you're just doing all of this to prove how deep you are about music. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm not a fan of Jason Mraz or The Beatles. You don't like The Beatles? That's, that's not the point. Eleanor Rigby, paperback writer? Okay, you know, you always think you have time to see these legends before they go. What was I so busy doing? It says here the Smokey Robinson dead thing is a hoax. It's on CNN as of two minutes ago. <laughs> okay, well, that's a relief. Wow, look at that. It says he's actually playing State College. It's only three hours away. Oh my God, Ryan, that's perfect. You have to go. Tickets are 250 bucks. $250 is nothing to the world's biggest Smokey Robinson fan. Yeah. Who's opening? Paul Anka. Paul Anka? How can they make the smoke man play with someone like that? I don't think I can see this. Okay, you could just show up late though. How much is parking, like 30 bucks? That's not what Smokey would have wanted does want. Tears of a clown. Don't call me a clown, Pam. You're better than that. Ugh, man. My doubts are blasted. I wish they had a chart for how much protein powder to scoop for a 180-pound man with no fat. Protein powder, huh? You cut it with water? Why don't you just take estrogen? There you go, boys. See how Papa takes care of you? Mm. <laughs> I remember when people thought biceps were all that. They'd flex them all night at the discotheque. Oh, I bet you think it's all about core, huh? Yeah. Oh, core is critical. There are four tenets of Pilates that I live my life by. One, lengthen. Two, elongate. Listen, guys, I think we all want to know the same thing, right? Who's the strongest? Well, there's only one way to solve that. Thigh curl contest. All right, here we go, everybody. May the manliest man win. Go. <laughs> Feast on this, Lewis. Oh. Uh, I love the burn. Uh. The burn is where I live. Come on, Gabe, you can't handle his hamstrings. You're getting hypnotized. Speed set, one. Uh. one. Two, three. Here, this is oh. for your elbows, for your elbows. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Five, uh, six. Uh. Quick phone seven. call from you guys, keep going. Eight. Nine. Hello? Ten. Ten. We got it? <laughs> Very funny, Jim. Yeah, Jim. Way to mock us for perfecting our bodies. Everyone, conference room now. Oh. All right. Easy there, Grandpa. Okay, I don't need your help. Okay. 
You know me, here, here. 